Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome to Devil's Deck, which is kind of an interesting rogue builder here. I'll actually turn on the music. There we go. But this is a fun little game that. Oh, there's little update mails which I haven't gotten just because, hey, it's been a while. But, so this is a little game. Oh, no, that's just saying, oh yeah, there's new DLCs and stuff, but this is a fun little game that I've played a little bit where there's multiple different types of warriors, which I'm gonna just do the base one that I've done before, which is this one. The Blessed Knight Heroes. His ability is restore five life to your creatures and they become immune from attack damage until, until the start of your turn. Next turn, when to combat, and then whenever a free friendly creature gets healed, it gains plus one or two attack this turn. And then there's obviously different skills. So let's. There's different trainings as well, which I, I can't do, but. Got the deck, and got the lists of just people who've done this. But let's just get right started into this. One thing that to know about this game I did originally play this on a different computer but then I play in this and the data did not carry over so do keep in mind that if you do want to play this throughout Steam it just does not seem to store the data so just keep that in mind but you finally woke up a thumping headache demons and where am I and who are you here is the demons territory you were caught here and held in the depths my name is Lyra and I'm here to help you I remember now, thank you. So what should I do next? Only by defeating a demon can you go out, but you are much we you are weakened now, but you are very weakened now. So first of all, explore around and strengthen yourself. You better hurry up. So yeah, just basically move around and get a bunch of skills. Whenever friendly, friendly creatures heal, this, that creature gets plus one attack. Definitely. Because that's, I feel you, you have no chance. Guards are around here. I've hidden, I've hidden our position, which could delay the guards coming for now, most of the time. Each of your steps costs one time. You'll encounter an enemy every five times. Um, let's see here. I think I'll do the fifty-fifty chance. I get the money. Healer's Cloak. At the start of your turn, restores three life to the equipped creature and its adjacent thing. It's so yeah, there's... Items, are with the, items with this symbol are for creatures. Yeah, so basically each creature can... Not this one. Creatures can wield one... Yeah, so... Basically two different items, basically, if I remember correctly. He nods salutes, uh, he nods a salute to you. I'm a Minotaur, maybe I should say Terran like you. Farewell, little one. Okay, random amount of XP. Alright, health. Yeah, get a decent amount of XP. Now I'm going into combat. Regrowth. One, restore one life. And I just have Trace, draw one card. The rules are basic cards in Lucian. Numbers in the top left corner determine how much mana is required to play that card. Max mana running. This is kind of like, um, runes, runescape? No, not runescape. Um, not Magic the Gathering, but there's one deck that's. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, Hearthstone, that's what it is. You can gain one max. Uh, you can gain one max mana and one mana by sacrifice. You gain a mana and one max mana after sacrifice. Now you have enough mana to play Black Panther. Creature can auto attack, can't auto attack in the turn that ends the battlefield. When you do nothing, end the turn. Yeah, and then they uh, each black. Yeah, the Black Panther can attack now. Your creatures will all attack. So. So 
I'm gonna say... Uh, target that one. Yeah, special power is triggered. Um, I'm gonna play wolf and other wolf. I'll play my walking spore. When the opponent has zero HP, you win. I think I'll do... Draw a card. Sacrifice a gorilla. Huzzah! We won our first battle! Get some gold, we get some experience, and we can choose to add a card if we want to. Well, not a card, but an extra thing. Uh, Palm Pickup, give Ambush Shook Spell a creature card. Palm Pickup, duplicate a creature spell. I think I'll give Ambush to an effect. I think I'll give Ambush to Walking Spore. Loots. Whenever creatures, friendly creatures, destroy this attack. Eh. Ooh. At the start of your turn, restore two life to your creatures. That's really good. Uh, whenever this card attacks your opponent, you gain one ma Ooh. I think I'm gonna do Forest Dragon just because that's a really nice card. And then hopefully I can also gain the two life one. Um. I think I will go. You can find cards in it. I like the idea of finding cards. And creatures deal double deal special double special damage to your opponent. Change these cards. Spawn blessing nature in your hand. The start of your turn, restore three life to your this and gain one attack. Give your creatures trip. I like gain three life and plus one attack. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so these are just the card effects. Okay, I think I'll go here. Oh, I didn't even need to use that, I just realized. Whatever. Pawn pickup, gain 200 gold and add a curse to your deck. Double future gold, max HP. Yeah, I'm fine with it. An enormous swarm is lying, the pa uh, lying on the path the four is lying on the path forward huddled and pale watching it for a while in the distance you notice that it seems dead or it, or it seems already dead not dead already and it as it's as it's been keeping totally stu uh, still continue move onwards you hold your breath and pass by carefully you think it should have been dead already the worm rises suddenly and plunges its sharp teeth deep into your arm you feel your blood drain rapidly so i can lose three hp to gain a creature or spell card I can choose to lose 25%, 20 percent of my HP to get Avengers gloves, which a creature gains vigilance, vigilance and thorns whenever it takes, and whenever it takes attack damage, it'll gain plus one attack, or I gain more time and become cursed. I think I'll get the Rangers gloves. Next battle. Magic hat spawn one, uh, spawn a random one costing creature. Welcome to my show. If I do that, I can... Oh, 
Oh, ambush means I started my hit. Okay. Put that there. Sacrifice that. Store five life to my creatures. Draw a card. Need another panther. I do that. Sacrifice that. Just keep getting mana. Get some experience. Get an item. Whenever you play across a whenever you play a creature of three or cost three or more, gain one mana. Creep creature gains plus two attack and return all of its items at the end of its turn. Enemy creature enemy creatures lose its charge. I think I do crystal ball because that's just really useful. Angel Blade, when a crypt creature attacks, will attack all enemy creatures from left. Ooh. Whenever you, whenever you draw, do one damage to your opponent. Whenever a friendly creature unspawn, creature is destroyed. Grammar, <laughs> you draw a card. Um, I think I'll do... I think I'll do the... Hmm. I think I'll do the Angel Blade. Because... Need to restore HP. Upgrade one card. I think I'll. Car. So it'd be a card plus two attack, four life, or choose the cost. Um. I don't have any. S really anything that costs. Besides for the blade, but I think I'll do. That's one time. Max health, definitely increasing my max HP. Go this way. You lose your way in the heavy fog. It seems like you're in a graveyard. Tombstones stand everywhere and the Ephenens are written in some symbols you don't know. The fog's getting dense well. Like dark whale echoes all around you. I'll lose some HP. Next combat. Take two damage and restore two life to all friendly creatures. <coughs> At least his ability, so. But yeah, I'll discard that. Play a panther. Wolf. Play that there. Play that there. the gorilla because I want to play all three of these yeah I could sacrifice but I don't want to <sighs> of course he's I'll heal his cloak Card. You win. Get some gold. Get some experience. Whenever, whenever you remove a card in the lost temple, gain experience. So you battle, spawn one wisp at a random position. 
Yeah. Gain a max mana and draw a card. Ooh. When this creature can't attack unless you max mana, so listen. Ease. Uh, Forest Blessing. Yeah, I'll do 50 50. At least they're good, and I'll choose what to upgrade. I think I'll upgrade. Um. Yeah, I think I'll make my ambush walking sport cheaper. Uh, I guess I'll gain some more gold if I'm lucky. I'll do the 60% chance. Then I'll go to the... here to delay the obelisk further. Whenever a friendly creature spawn, it gains charge, fly, gives flying to your creatures two or less. Give charge to you know, unblocked creatures. Interesting. I think I'll do the... Yeah, I'll do that. And... Do the goblin planner. Save your turn, restore three life to this, and gain attack. Fly, gain flying this turn, draw the this little card hand. Do I already have the tree and priest? Yeah, I do have the tree and priest. Change these cards, you to the wild. Nah, I don't really want any of those. Be careful, the boss is on its way. The boss is approaching. Darkness befalls the land you stand. Lightning is flashing through the thick black clouds overhead. The wailing wind rouses the relentless relentlessness of the e elemental spirits of the air. The boss is approaching. So I can either heal, which I don't really need. An, overwhelming, an enemy with overwhelming power is coming. Thanks to Larry, you have a chance to prepare yourself. I can transform a creature or upgrade a creature. Um, plus two attack, store three life, better attack, reduce the cost, I think I'll reduce the cost of the force blessing. Deal one damage to player for each card in player's hand. Interesting. My body is pure, made of pure man and you know that soon. Sacrifice that and sacrifice that. Panther. I'll play the fair wild raid. Target that. Whenever you take damage, 50 spins restore 2 HP to you. Okay. Put that there. Draw a card. Healer's Cloak. Restore of HP to everybody. Sacrifice of this and... I'll do all that one. Of course I lose one max mana, but that's okay. Experience. 
Pick up a random e epic item and add a random curse to your deck. Upon pick up max HP, then add a curse to your deck. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Because I can sacrifice curses. Play a buff, I sacrifice this. What is it? Let's destroy a random friendly creature. Okay. Give combo to one equipped creature so it attacks twice. Destroy a friendly creature and restore 83 HP. Whenever a friendly creature enters the battlefield, your opponent takes damage equal to the cost. Ooh, I do like that. Next floor, because there's three floors. Gain some experience. I have enough money, so... Move walking someone. No. Move a card from your deck. I will remove... I guess I'll remove my... I guess I can remove the curse, so... Upgrade random spell... Upgrade random spell... Go to a random location... Get some experience with some gold... Sorry, each combat create one a creature, one of three. Upon pick up, upgrade two random cards. Go upgrade two random cards. Time for combat. Whenever a spell is played by a player, man and addict will draw a card. Interesting. Guess I'll do that. Play walking spore. Um, I think I'll do thi play this. Sacrifice walking spore and play. Yeah, I'll give flying creatures. Give flying, draw a card, sacrifice it. Sacrifice that and play the treant. Draw a card. If I play. Okay, whenever an opponent plays a spell, negate it and deal 8 damage to this creature. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna. Sacrifice this. Heal all my creatures. Draw a card. Money, gain some experience. On palm pickup, gain three random scrolls. I don't really use scrolls. Shuffle two paint into the opponent's deck. Gain some max XP. Yeah. Um. I don't really want any of these. Ooh, I do actually like double biting. Um. Guess for random events. Your nostrils are filled with a stink of something burning in the forest. No doubt oh, it's about that it's a forest of demons. As the saying goes, nothing ventured and nothing gained. Explore. Aimlessly searching in the forest, your body keeps... is... gets poisoned by the death... death's breath. Lose 5 HP, chance to increase max HP. Um... Just get the item card. I don't want to risk anymore. So, tra ran transformation. Um, 
Oh, I have, I have a regular Black Panther. You find a spirit altar with a numerous spirits flowing around. They seem to be harmless. As you get closer, a spirit appears in the center of this altar. It's been a long time since we saw an outsider. What are you looking for? Well, if I had a regular Black Panther, I'll transform it, but I don't. A dark-skinned elf approaches you without a sound as you are walking in the forest. Noticing your blood are red high as you explore shuddering breath. You need power while I need blood. Maybe we can make a deal. Lose 10 HP, upgrade to your random card. Sure. A clergy lies in the room with a large hole in the chest, and you can see the energy in this severe wound sucking his soul. You know you won't live long, but it can be worse if you don't take action. Please, at least. So if I had a holy shield, I could offer it to gain a titan amulet. I wish I had that, but... The clergy's face contorts and arm stretches out in a hole in his chest. The arm becomes a winged demon. Coming at you from the hole, the demon curses you with a harsh voice and flies away with the clergy. I'll delay... And... Reinforce. The moon wolves there. I can upgrade an item card. Every ballista? Definitely reduce that cost. I only have 11 HP, but I should be fine. Whenever in front of creatures destroyed, spawn one fireball to its hand. These may need to go to the next overload next turn. A card. Unplayable. After you sacrifice this deal, one damage for each card in your hand. Interesting. Okay. Sacrifice my regular dire wolf. Play this. Play an angel blade. One fixed game effect with Wisp. Uh, dire Wolf. And then I'll do Walking Spore. I'll draw a card. Could sacrifice, but I don't want to. Ballista. Okay. Ah, oh, darn. Probably shouldn't push my luck. Can we spawn once? A lot of damage. Creatures with two or less. And draw a card. I am gonna sacrifice it for a bit more mana. Huzzah! You win! With the help of a respawn, but that's okay, because I was being dumb. Whenever your creature deploys its trigger, I don't have to deploy, I give a creature trample. Whenever I find a creature and just buff it, it takes two damage. Yeah, drums of war. That's too good. Beep. 
get Fierce Gorilla, get Emerald Druid, or get Twin Lotus. Eh. Man, I wish I got the other one. Restore three life to your friendly, to friendly creatures and draw a card. Yes, please. Whenever a creature takes damage, you have to pull it and become cursed. Um. Oh well, yeah, like, I mean, that honestly doesn't really hurt too badly. Um, yeah, I'll gain some HP just to be... Max HP. Next battle. I need to spend my money. Too much money. Let's see. Black Panther. Card, sacrifice a gorilla. Uh, let's see, I play a gorilla. Sacrifice the black panther. Left to right, draw a card. I'll block this. Uh, should have done that first, but whatever. Zod defeated the venomous spider. Get some money, get some experience. Um, I guess I'll get more money. Draw cards equal to the difference of creatures. <sighs> Give between the combo this turn. Eh. Give your creatures. And, eh. Yeah, it's only this turn. Experience. Upgrade. One upgrade this. First combat. Yeah. Let's see here. I'll go up and around, maybe. Crypt creature plus one is block, it plus four attack. Reduce damage taken to a crypt creature and its adjacent one. <sighs> yeah, I'll do that. I do want to go down because I do want to remove cards in my deck. Uh, so, for life, draw a card. Change these cards. Got a fairy dragon in the original position. Yeah, I like that. Remove a card from your deck. I'm gonna remove one of the curses of burden. It's because the boss is on its way. The boss is approaching. Uh, I could. As much as I want to do 60 experience, that won't level me up. So I'll just do get one of my cards ambush. I guess I'll give ambush to. Um, I guess I'll do my forest dragon so I can play that more quickly. Okay. Um, definitely want to play the heavy ballista. 
I'll get rid of my growth tender for the time being. Because I want to be able to play stuff. At least next turn. So I'll do that. Play my growth. Play my growth tender. Of course you do that. Get do the curse of burn, even though like I know. I can draw another card, which would be the curse of burn. So, I'm gonna do Curse of Burden, gain a max mana, which I of course have to draw the card. I do... I'm gonna draw another card. So next turn I'll play the Forged Dragon. I'll play the Curse of Burden. Play that there. And I'll play that there for the time being. Sacrifice this. Fierce Gorilla, heal stuff, heal my creatures. Of course I lose max mana, but that's okay. Draw a card, sacrifice that, play the Walking Spore, Play the Black Panther. Really need to. Okay. Draw a card. Can I? I can't sacrifice them, so. As for the time being, I'll just sacrifice my basic Black Panther. I'll draw a card. Play that there. Uh, it takes attack, same and skates one attack. I'll do that there. Okay. I should be fine. It's definitely gonna be tough. I'll play this, draw a card. Creatures of two or less have flying, so. Oh, thank goodness. That was definitely closer than I would have liked. Got some money, which I don't need. Experience. When you upgrade it, give ambush your creature spell at the start of each combat. Create a room's copy of a spell opponent. That's really nice. Uh, whenever is unspawned, it's destroyed. Draw a card. Whenever finish spawned, or enters the least battlefield to damage your opponent. Whenever a crypt creature attacks, enemy creature. Oof, like that is really good. So now on to the third and final floor, I believe. Definitely want to get experience. 
Sorry, V combat shuffle three. V combat create three. Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade that. Six gold. Definitely more max HP. Choose one of lose one creature spell. Yeah, I'll do Riot Raid. I barely play that anyways. Um, plus one time. Gain more experience. Doesn't want to upgrade stuff. Say, Greater Alchemy, upgrade a card. Um, yeah, 35 plus. Go to a random. Go to a random location. Make an offering. Lose 60 gold. Yeah. Give friend a creature attack match on the highest of the battlefield. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Simple in charge. Sacrif void circle. Destroy the top four cart. That's from... Yeah, one of the things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Destroy the So, of course I lose that, but... Destroys three of them. That grab that and I'll should have done that first, but that's okay. Play the forest dragon. I want to play the healer's cloak on the forest dragon. Trigger a curse, which is good. Give 5 HP to my do playing healer's cloak to you, angel blade. I will hold off. Draw a card. Get rid of the gorilla. Oh. Play the crystal ball. do have flying so this is I think I wanna do draw a card destroy that yeah okay curse of pain So I'll play the gorilla, draw a card, do the curse, at my f Oh, he did put it at the top of the deck. Of course he does that one. At least I can still play it and it still has charge, which is good. You win, so then go to get some experience. Upgrade three random creature cards. Play with plus. I think I'll. I don't want this. Yeah, I still have cards that need to be upgraded, so I think I'll get the mithril box. Yeah. I have this card to just give it plus one. Ooh, that's really good. Game with club. So I think I want to do... Up and around this way so I can gain some more experience. 
15 random scrolls. Guess I'll get a random item scroll. Uh, the snowboy and sorcerer's tab, I'll think disc. Take or give. I don't have a thing. Take a random scroll. Um, I guess I'll go to the merchant shop. If a crypt creature takes damage, or sword life to it. Restore life to you and spawn a random curse in your hand. Maybe you play an unspawned spell, spawn a copy in your hands. Um, inspiration fairy, turn crane. Spawn a random creature. Spawn a copy of a random creature into your hand. Uh, I think I'm good for the time being. Um, yeah, I'll go this way. Get your powers for like you. I don't really have powers. Let's do attack this turn. Eh, transmute friend of creatures. Take attack damage. Plus, eh, nothing really useful here, but we're into the next combat. OC is under your control. Scrolls could help you out in danger. An opponent draws a spell. This creature's okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna do heavy ballista. Change your position to friendly creature and skin the plus one attack. Uh, that's useful, but I'll just use it to draw a card. I'll play that, and I'll play there. I'm gonna do the Fierce Gorilla, play Forest Dragon. Uh, I'll get rid of this, play Walking Spore. Play the ranger's gloves on that dude. Draw a card. I'll play the curse for pence. Cur curse of penance. That's Reduce damage taken by the other guys. Play a that. Draw a card. Creature spawns. Card, play the panther. Keeping this guy alive will help me play so many more cards. Thankfully, because I still have a mana from him playing it. Play that. Gain one max mana to draw a card. And gloves. Have charge. Goblin Banner does not seem to give my creatures charge, though. Oh, I'm gonna give all my dudes protection. Huzzah! I win! XP... I'm gonna lose HP outside combat and get gold. Yeah, I'll gain. I'll do the gym. Increase the damage dealt by the Crypt Creature by 3. 
Give flank to a quick shoot and its adjacent allies, or equip creature deals double attack damage to other creatures. I think just doing base damage increase, I think, is probably better. Let's max HP. Get some extra gold. That's very five. Max experience. Chance to win more gold. Next combat. If I have kept it with a random creature item. Mm, that's an interesting fun effect for him. Probably a weapon. Your creatures that are already in the bath can yeah, okay, might as well do that first. Oh, here's the thing that applies to both of us. Okay. Okay. Give your creatures plus one attack. <sighs> okay, um, restore health to everybody. I think I will sacrifice that. I'll give that. That and give creature. So draw a card. Taken. Draw a card. Huzzah! I win! Go, some experience. Some more HP, I mean. Upgrade, yeah, I'll save two random cards. Creatures do it done. I'll do with another forest dragon because the forest dragon is just so good. I'll upgrade a random card. Yeah, upgrade. Some more experience. Need some more experience. Into a portal, plus one time in HP. I mean, I'm just gonna do it just for. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but hey. Careful, boss is on the way. Boss is approaching. I will th store 30% of my HP because I need the extra HP. And the Feynman boss. I'll do that. 
try it one curse spell is just really good just so I can keep sacrificing it. I'll play the writer. Do that. Play the dragon. So, when Crypt Creature takes damage, click that, that, draw a card. Sacrifice that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna play that. Draw a card. Sacrifice this. Protect all of my creatures. Okay. Final form. If HP is below 50%, unlock, all pa unlock the passive ability, draw 5 cards, and become immune to damage this turn. Rah! Luckily, that was just my last attack. I can't believe they go heal up that. Um, that give creatures I control trample this turn. Draw a card. Sacrifice that. Um. Do that. I will use the open crossbow. I'll take some damage. Oh, hey! Curse took me out. Nice! Nice! Things, some training, dummy, some dreams. Found the way out. Don't worry, I purify the evil energy inside you and I'll take the power you've gained in this decision. Touch you, beat them again, like this time. Yay! Yeah, this is just the ending credits. Nice! And. Knock two fire heroes. Nice, some achievement points, which. Get some fun stuff with that. Um, achievement collection. Hidden. Nice. Okay. Nice. If I go to. Yeah, there's. Yeah, so each thing does fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I'll train this guy. So it starts with additional stuff. So initial hand size more, more gold, and eventually better stuff. Okay. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. And may the stars forever guide your path, forever they might lead you into the future. Bye-bye, and see you next time.